Thank you very much for that. Very encouraging. Um, man, my week has been a whirlwind. And yesterday, I realized I am not ready for today. Um, but, you know, I think that before I begin to sit down and even think about things to say, sometimes the best stuff has always come at, like, the last minute. And um, so today, this morning, I was sitting and I was really having a hard time thinking. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. Normally I just address the class as a whole, but I really felt strongly I wanted to address each one individually. So I have three words. Stephen, faith. Martin Luther King said that uh, faith is taking that first step on the staircase without seeing the entire staircase. Stepping out on the water is faith. Trusting that your steps will be established. Keep your eyes fixed and keep on stepping. Diploma. Resilience. An oak tree in the wind, it'll break. It'll snap. 
but a small willow tree will bend when it must. It survives the wind. That's faith. Never losing sight of vision for a better life in your children. Always bend in the wind. Juju. Discovery. If you want to have if you want a happy vision, I'm sorry, if you want to be happy, have a vision that commands your thoughts, liberates your energy, and inspires your hopes. And you will discover a greater purpose in your life than you've ever thought you could possibly be possibly be created for. So to the three of you, to keep moving forward, discover, stay resilient, and never lose faith. So we have some uh, awards and certificates to hand out. <clears throat> the first one is a certificate for the outstanding performance on the SurfSafe exam. So SurfSafe, while the students are here, they go through a uh, SurfSafe food handler exam. We cover just uh, the fundamentals of food safety and best practices, food, how to handle food and store food properly. And uh, so we like to recognize the highest score on that SurfSafe exam. And I know we cram it all into one day and it could seem like a lot. And so I think it's really important to just honor that highest score. So the highest score for the SurfSafe exam, this certificate goes to Diploma Radcliffe. <laughs> Our next one is our certificate for outstanding performance in knife skills. So while the students are here, we go through a, uh, a practical and we go through many days of practice to get up to that practical. I guess you guys are probably tired of potatoes. <laughs> but like I always say to them that you can think of this like that Karate Kid exercise, right? Paint the fence, wax on, wax off. This is the discipline behind the knife skills. This is what builds consistency and quality within, our, within the work that we do. So while it seems mundane, and yeah, we get tired of it, and we go through potato after potato after potato, we're working towards something. So it's really important to, when we get to that practical, I think, to also honor that. And the Certificate for Outstanding Performance in Knife Skills goes to Stephen Phillips. <laughs> This one is my personal favorite. This is our Ralph Comstock Soup Award. Um, so while students are here, we have a, a little friendly soup competition. Uh, but also the purpose of the soup competition is to show them how to make soups, to talk about how fundamentals of flavor building and even we, we talk also about stocks during this process and how to make and prepare stocks. And so the chef, uh, chef Comstock, it was named after the Comstock Super Bowl was named after Chef Ralph Comstock, who was a very well-known, respected chef across Indianapolis, as well as the country. Uh, he was an adjunct professor at Ivy Tech for over 30 years. He retired from Aramark Services in 98, and Chef Ralph donated well over 15 years of his service to Second Helpings as a guest instructor. He would come in and teach the soup class and share his recipes. I never had the honor of meeting him, but I feel like I know him um, just because of how beloved he was by everyone and um, uh, you know and I've seen pictures and just read things about him and he just seems like the kindest little soul and uh, so to win this Ralph Comstock Super Award has become a coveted honor um, and it's the best day here everybody loves it the staff the volunteers the students um, and everybody all three of these students these graduates here they prepared incredible soups um, I know we hear this a lot, but I was told by everyone in the building for days after that this was the, the best round of soups that we had in quite a while. 
Um, and uh, so with that, our Ralph Comstock Soup Award goes to the graduate who prepared potato chowder, which is Dapoma Radcliffe. <laughs> And then last, certainly not least, uh, we have a perfect attendance award. And this is for overall perfect attendance. So during, during the, the duration of the program, we have four modules that operate in two week uh, successions with module four being the last one week. But, um, and, and we give out a perfect attendance at each module, but then we, we also give out an overall perfect attendance because again, it's very hard to be here for seven weeks, every single day, on time, committed like that when, you know, sometimes life is just whirling around you and you have all kinds of things coming at you. So we always want to honor this per perfect attendance award and this goes to Stephen Phillip. <laughs> That's it on my part. Thank you. I'm Nora Spitznagel. I'm the Senior Director of Programs here at Second Helpings. And while we love graduation days, they're our favorite days, there's also a lot of other amazing work that's happening in the building right now. We have dozens of volunteers that are helping prepare thousands of meals, um, all made with rescued food. We're picking up thousands of pounds of rescued food today also. So if anybody's interested in volunteering, um, visit secondhelpings.org. We'd love to show you around and have you be part of the great community. I'd like to introduce um, two other people that are part of the culinary job training um, staff. Ann King is here. Ann's, um, <laughs> Ann's our, our employment specialist. So she's been working with our graduates on interview skills, resume writing, workplace expectations. And she's working diligently with um, helping find them jobs. She set up opportunities for them. Along. And Tanya Watson isn't able to be here today, but she sends all of her love and um, definitely some cowbell. Uh, if Tanya was here, there'd be the more cowbell. Yes. <laughs> Tanya's our cheerleader. You saw some of the awards that the students um, got today, but they've also, they're all Serve Safe certified. They also, you'll see their pens. Um, they're, there's a national certification for kitchen cooks. They're all certified in that. They've had classes in financial, workplace expectations, stress management, anti harassment. They've had guest chefs come and teach. Um, Chef Katz, I keep hearing about the holiday sauce. I, I had a meeting out of the building, so I missed it, but. Still talking about the soup and the hollandaise sauce. They visited um, the Riley Hospital kitchens, all the Marriott property kitchens, um, and they've been to Wheeler to visit the women's shelter kitchen. And they've also done stages, which is the fancy French word for job shadows, at several places, including the Marriott and Wheeler. So lots have happened. But it's my pleasure to, we'll start the graduation, the exciting stuff. And when they get their totes and their... So our first graduate, Stephen Phillip. <laughs> chef Keith is one of our former instructors and he's also a longtime guest chef. And he was here when the class started. So he's one of the... <laughs> Diploma Radcliffe. <laughs> 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 
Juju Taylor. traditions is that our graduates get to make some remarks. So we'll start with Stephen. Well, thank you everyone for being here. It is once said, appreciation is the hardest of all emotions to express. At this moment, I just want to thank Second Helping for the time they share their life with me, all the chefs, volunteers, and the staffs here. I really appreciate that. And I just, I learned a lot of things why I, during my training here, there's something I came to realize. Among all the species in the world, human is the only species that cook. And why do we cook? The question is, we cook not only for we to satisfy our hunger, but we cook to heal our body. So a very good chef is a working solution, not someone that causes damages. So when once you understand what you are doing, you find out that you help the medical practitioners to reduce their, to reduce problem to reduce their workload because you cook to heal the body when we eat to destroy the body we need to find other form of food to eat to heal our body so as a chef we need to be proud of what we are doing our profession we cook to heal the body not to destroy the body so among all the profession in life can we guess which of the profession that nobody can ever use the phrase I can't. It's the profession of eating. A baby can't eat. So even animal can't eat. But human being, as we as a chef, you find out that um, a car manufacturer can manufacture a car, but people will say, I can't drive. I can't write. I can't operate computer. But when it comes to eating, everybody can eat. So we give the world positivity, positive mindset of I can. So I know if we are chef in here, we need to be proud of our profession. For second helping, what they've been doing, saving life, adding value to people's life, I believe in five years time, I will replicate this second helping in Africa. Amen. I'm working. I'm working so hard on that. I'm planning to write a business plan on that, how the structure will go. But I believe God will lead me to the rightful people to work with to achieve this goal. I just want to say thank you to my wife, and, our, and <laughs> Stephanie. And thank you for our families, to hold the second helping, to the students, to facilitate our instructors, and everybody in here, I really appreciate your hard work. And I know we'll always make a difference. We'll continue to add value to people's life with whatever we've gained from Second Helping. Thank you so much. Thanks, Second Heavens. Thanks, Chef Cal, Chef Keith, Miss Nora. The first thing that stuck with me, um, what stuck with me was the first thing Chef Cal said was the Puma is going to be obstacles. 
it's going to be obstacles. And I didn't really understand what he was saying, but now I understand. I want to cry. Because the obstacles came. It was transportation issues, life issues, but I still came and I still showed up. And it was the people in the building, the friendly faces, the good energy that brought me here every day. They make me not, I was like, no, I can't miss a day. I don't want to miss a day. Every time that I came in here, I felt just good energy, positive energy. And I just want to say that I appreciate everybody. This place broke me down and built me back up as a person. <laughs> and I appreciate it. Like mentally, mentally, emotionally, everything. I'm stronger and I feel like I can do anything now that I complete this seven week program. And I appreciate everybody, the volunteers, just everybody, the good energy, the good spirits. Steven, he's like a mentor to me. Juju, we, we was good team players. And we stuck together and we, we did it. We did it, I appreciate it. Yeah. My dad, my sister, they travel from Chicago. And my boyfriend, and my boyfriend, thank y'all. Choo-choo. I'm sorry, I've been crying. Um, it's so emotional. I just want to thank everybody for allow just everybody, y'all, my family. I went through like homelessness. I, I just didn't think that I was gonna make it. I'm so thankful for my daughter, for being there for, by my side through all of this. Like this journey is like, it's just so hard for me. I always, I always start things and then I don't complete it, but just thanks to Miss Nora, Miss Linda, Miss Ed, Chef, y'all, y'all. I'm just so dedicated and just so honored to be here today and just say, we did it. I'd like to introduce Adam Clevenger, one of our board members. And um, also stick around, we've got cake and coffee and things for Adam. Thank you, Nora. And wow, uh, this has been a, a wonderful morning. And uh, I want to say thank you to the graduates uh, for, and also the loved ones that are here, the family members that are here, for letting me be a part of this uh, joyous morning and to celebrate with you. It's quite an amazing morning. You know, over the past three years of isolation, crisis, and unrest, food has remained central to our individual and community lives. Family kitchens and park picnic tables have been safe places for families and friends to gather. Restaurants, though many shuttered, are once again feeding and sustaining us. Grocery shelves are restocked and large-scale events have returned to our city along with thousands of people who need to be catered to. Few things, I think we heard this already today, few things are as personal and as meaningful as food. This is the legacy that you are all a part of now. At Second Helpings, we know that food can connect, unite, and transform people. But we also, we also here at Second Helpings give second starts, second chances, and second careers. At Second Helpings, we live out the quotes, failure is the condiment that gives success flavor. Whether your culinary job training experience here at Second Helpings takes you to further school, to restaurants, to Africa to replicate this uh, wonderful program, uh, or just enjoying your new honed skills uh, with families and friends, know that we are proud of you and that we are here to support each and every one of you. It's our long-standing pledge to be here for you. On behalf of the Board of Second Helpings and all staff and everyone who's here, congratulations on your graduation. Nora has given me the authority to uh, close out today, and as she said, there's refreshments. Please uh, enjoy yourselves. Uh, take this time to um, just bask in your achievements today, and uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. We really appreciate you celebrating with us. Woo!